Hey, what's going on guys? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Today, we are counting down my top five tight ends in the 2024 NFL Draft, guys. If you love the draft and you want more draft content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. Coming in number five in my rankings is Bryson Nesbitt out of North Carolina. Drake May might have lost both Josh Downs and Antoine Green to the 2023 NFL Draft, but he will have one primary pass catcher returning in tight end Bryson Nesbitt, who also offers early round potential due to his elite traits. Nesbitt, who broke the 500 yard mark in 2022, does his best work up the seam and over the middle of the field. He's more of a linear athlete at tight end, but he's an explosive long strider at six foot five, 230 pounds, who can instinctively flow into blind spots downfield before converting at the catch point with his smooth body control and hand-eye coordination. But let's watch some highlights. Coming in number four in my rankings is Seydou Traore out of Colorado. Make sure to keep an eye on former Arkansas State tight end Seydou Traore. Traore logged 50 catches for 655 yards and four touchdowns in 2022 and is one of the nation's most prolific receiving tight ends. Traore is a different kind of athlete. However, that athleticism does in part come at the expense of mass at six foot four, 223 pounds, but he's extremely dynamic. Some tight ends are lumbering movers, Traore is the exact opposite. His strides are quick in space, he can make defenders miss with ease, and on top of it all, he can win in contested situations. Say do Traore just re-entered the transfer portal after leaving Colorado, so it's unknown where he's playing in 2023, but make sure to watch out for this guy, big time playmaker. Let's watch some highlights. Coming in number three in my rankings is Jaheim Bell out of Florida State. Jaheim Bell had a lot of buzz early on in the 2023 NFL draft process, but a slow start to the 2022 campaign cooled that hype. Bell has intriguing versatility. He had 54 carries for 197 yards and a touchdown in 2022, along with 25 catches for 231 yards and two scores. After transferring to Florida State in 2023, I expect that versatility to be even further unleashed. Jaheim Bell is a guy who can be used in motion and line up at H-back, and he offers a high level blend of explosiveness and contact balance at six foot three, 232 pounds. Let's watch some highlights.
Coming in number two in my rankings is a really good one. He is JT Sanders, tight end out of Texas. As he developed chemistry with quarterback Quinn Ewers, Sanders set a school single season record for a tight end with 54 catches and announced himself as a legitimate pro prospect. His athletic traits have the attention of scouts. At six foot four, 249 pounds, Sanders offers great size and length, and he's a very good blocker, but the brunt of his appeal comes from his fleet-footed athleticism and certifiably elite catching instincts. With Quinn Ewers set to have a huge year in 2023, JT Sanders could also follow suit. Let's watch some highlights. Coming in number one in my rankings, no surprise, Brock Bowers out of Georgia. Bowers finished the 2022 season with 942 yards and seven touchdowns on 63 receptions. He averaged 15 yards per reception and also added 109 rushing yards with three touchdowns on the ground. The tight end formed a solid partnership with quarterback Stetson Bennett as the Bulldogs finished with a 15-0 record. He caught seven passes for 152 yards in the national championship game against TCU and scored one touchdown in a record-breaking 65-7 victory. Bowers has a sturdy 6'4", 230-pound frame, and his explosive athleticism is second to none in this tight end class. Bowers so naturally finds soft spots downfield, and once he has the ball, he's a bear to take down with his speed and physicality. Kyle Pitts was longer and a more refined route runner coming out, but Brock Bowers has similar dynamic upside. Let's watch some highlights. So those are my top five tight ends in the 2024 NFL Draft. Do you agree or disagree with my rankings? Who did I leave out? Let me know down in that comment section below. For everything NFL Draft, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Crockpot. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more draft content. Stay awesome, everyone. <music>